Well, first of all, Joe, I imagine it's been a positive week, hasn't it? You, you won on Saturday, um, a free week with the lads on training, and now an FA Cup game to look, look forward to on Sunday. Yeah, a little, little bit of a welcome distraction, isn't it? The Cup has um, you know, been, been a tough uh, opening gambit to the campaign, and certainly away from home in, in recent weeks, you know, the lads have really picked up. And we go now into two you know, fixtures away in the Cup, so an opportunity for us you know, as a group to, to test ourselves against a, a side that's habitually, uh, certainly in the last period under Robbo, uh, been you know, promotion, promotion chasing uh, candidates from, from the division above, so really good test of us. Yeah, Carl Robinson spoke about his relationship with you and his respect for you. How, how are you acquainted with him? Just known each other for a long time. Obviously, um, even from the playing days, you know, Carl's been managing, I think, since he's about 29. So, you know, he's been out a long time. And um, in, in my short journey in management, you know, we, I was in League One and we competed against each other and just always had a really healthy, um, you know, relationship. And certainly for me as a young coach, to have somebody who's been a very, very young coach and, and a successful one. And, Obviously, someone who can you know lean on for a bit of support. And there was times, certainly in the early part of the season, where you know we you know pick the phone up on a Sunday and just have a chat. Just mm -hmm. somebody who feels you know the pressure, and somebody who feels um, the kind of you know the, the the nuances of of this job. And as I say, Robbo's you know done a great job at Oxford. Been you know habitually, as I say, since he's been there. I think playoffs every single year. Um, you know, really good football team. You know, sold lots of players on as well. You know, he's done an amazing job there. And uh, I think for us, you know, Saturday is is an opportunity to you know test our kind of road warrior spirit that we've had in in recent weeks. And as I say, we'll be fully thoroughly examined against um, you know a side that I think have won four on the spin and and again are sitting you know in the top six of of the League One table. Yeah, and in Matty Taylor, I think six goals this season. A, a player, of course, the Rovers fans know well. Um, what are you expecting from him on, on Sunday against his former club? It's one of them, isn't he? You know, if he's on the pitch for you, he, he just always has a chance of popping you know, a goal in. And, and that's you know, the hardest thing to do in football. That's why people pay you know, so much money for the, for the boys who do it at the highest level. And you know, Matty has historically you know, put the ball in the back of the net. And, uh, at every club he's been at, pretty much, you know, he, he's done that. And I know there's a little bit of needle with, um, you know, our fans and, and Matty from the game we played against him in pre-season. But, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, like every every player, you know, the FA Cup is is a special competition. And yeah, we're in at the first round stage, and and you know, the 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 big dream of of pulling, you know, a, a top club out and and going to either their stadium or having them in in your stadium for. Mm -hmm. The kind of smaller clubs, you know, the the FA Cup dream is still there, um, you know. So for us, it's 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 an opportunity, as I say, to get a little cup run going, and and, and who knows what the fu future brings, you know. It's 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 a really good level at the FA Cup, as we've seen um, historically, and and as I say, you know, for us, there's no pressure on the game. Oxford will be expected to to beat us um, due to the the quality they have in their in their building and you know their position in the football pyramid, but. But you know we're confident that you know we can cause any team problems. So we're looking forward to it. We've got no strikers, uh, but as the lads have done in in recent weeks, you know we'll find a way to to cause the the opposition uh, problems. Well, you've brought up team news. So um, Brett went off on Saturday. Is he not going to be available this weekend? No, and that's not just for the moustache. He's, he's knocking out at the minute. No, he's, he just felt he's growing a little bit, and we're hoping it's a couple of weeks. So it, it's, hopefully he's not long term, but. Off the back of that, we've lost LT. I don't think Luke's going to start. He's just felt his toe in the game. Um, had a good, so obviously, you know, one eye on, on the league fixture at North, Northampton uh, to come. So we just have to be uh, careful with him. So at, at the moment, we've got Aaron um, Collins, we've got Sammy Nicholson, who was superb as a centre forward Saturday. And then we're into the to young Jamani, 17 year old, who was obviously on the bench Saturday. So Harvey Saunders out at the minute, Clark is out at the minute. So we're having a little bit of a tough time on the front line, but you know, we're still managing to find a way to win games. So credit to the team. Um, ignoring injuries, you said when the draw was made, you would go full strength. Do you start, I mean, managers are entitled to change their mind and you have got the league next Saturday, but will you name as strong a side as you can? Yeah, it's the FA Cup, isn't it? So, you know, we'll be, we'll be trying to win the game. We'll be putting the best team out that we can. Um, that's, that's fit and available. As I say, it's, it's not going to contain an awful lot of strikers because we don't have many of them uh, available. But we'll have a team that will have a, a, a plan to go and cause problems for Oxford. And, you know, it, it'd be hard enough fixture if we were going there with everybody fit. You know, League Two against League One is, is, is you know, the, there is a difference between the sides. 
cup levels if for me. Um, but again, you know, we'll have enough players on the pitch to, to hopefully cause them problems and you know, I'm looking forward to the cup tie. Does it force you to change your approach to the game? Do you play to your strengths um, with the lack of strikers available? Yeah, probably play six, four, none. Um, <laughs> just, we haven't got any strikers. So yeah, look, we'll have we'll have a tactical plan of, um, you know, I think I've got. Car won't like me for for reminding you this, but I think, I think it's six or seven games, and he hasn't beaten me in six or seven games. So, um, it's not that I mention it to him after the game or anything <laughs> like that. But it, even this pre season, you know, they were on top, and, and then Brett obviously came on and scored one wonder <laughs> goal, didn't he? So, Rob almost to me thinking, my God, how, how do I find a way past this team? And that was at Fleetwood as well, um, and we've just, you know, we've always had good games. They've always been quite closely fought, always had, had goals in them and, and we've been fortunate enough you know, to get through them without um, a bloodied nose. We've you know, had a couple of draws with them where, where they probably should have won and the other times you know, we've managed to, uh, to get the job done and beat them. So, um, very good side, you know, patterns of play, really good principles, um, but once, you've, once you know them, you know them. Um, so I can't see him changing that much. He might do now, just because I've like he might do in the build up for it. But I can't see them changing for us. You know they're on such a good run that they're going well. As I say, four unbeaten, riding high in the league. You know an out of sorts kind of league two side coming. I won't imagine they'll have too many sleepless nights over us. I imagine Carl will be rubbing his hands and thinking, okay, this is the, this is the time we're going to get you done, especially when they see that we haven't got. You know, a whole plethora of our attacking uh, talents is, is not with us. But against the cup, and I just got I've got a weird feeling about where our groups are at the minute. We've just got a really good spirit building, and and this will test our teamship one more. It'll be a tough game, but I, I think you know as we showed a Harrogate, you know the the lads rose to the challenge, and we shut out you know a team that has been free scoring in our division, a team that you know ten unbeaten at home would expect it to steamrollers. You know, all these things. Um, and I thought our lads put out the best defensive performance as a team, uh, you know that we've put out probably since since I've been at the club. Um, so they rose to the challenge, and, and Saturday will be an even bigger challenge than Harrogate. You know, going to the Kassam playing a, a really good side. Um, but look forward to it because I think we'll find out a lot about our group, and, and you know through the adversity, um, you know, I believe iron sharpens iron, and I think we'll be better for it. Um, two more questions. Just there, what what should Rovers' ambitions be in the FA Cup? Is the third round the the, the ambition, and, and see what happens from there, or even better than that? Well, we've got a tough fixture, haven't we? You know, obviously, side way above you in the pyramid and and, and away from home. So it's you know you want a side below you in the pyramid and, and at home. That's mm. usually what everyone ho hopes for. Uh, we haven't managed to get that. Um, but again, you know, tough fixture, but one that you know if we get it right, we can we can certainly progress, and then. Then you're in the lap of the gods to see who you get in the second round, and then who knows? But whilst you're in it, you you got a chance of winning, and you know the the FA Cup does spring magic. You know it always does. It always throws something up every year, and let's hope this year it's it's Rovers year. And we've mentioned the forwards. Um, Junior went off um, last week. How's he? It's going to be a period. Yeah, it's going to be about ten weeks. I think so. It's, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, when it rains, it pours. Ed, as you know. Um, but but look, we you, you look at the injury board there, and you've got kind of eleven. You know, players who could certainly compete for places out, um, and you know we've still got a team that's taking to the pitch and having a scrap and having a fight every every week. So, you know, I'm not the only manager who will have injuries. Um, you know, they do um, annoy you as a manager because you want your best players, you know, to be able to drive that competition and, and obviously continuity as well. But you know that is football, and you have to make a plan for it. We've we've got still more than enough players who can you know perform at the level we expect. And also, you know, it opens up pathways and opportunities for younger players. As I say, young Jamani got to travel with the first team for the league fiction, is on the bench. And, you know, I was tempted to throw him on after nine, ten minutes that when Brett came, went, you know, went down with an injury. I just felt it was a little bit too much too soon for him. If it had been near a half time, I may well have, you know, launched the young, youngster on and, and seen what he's got. As it was, it just came a little bit early in the game. But one man's injury, one man's suspension is another man's opportunity or another young person's uh, chance to, you know, to showcase what they can do. So, you know, we're going to have to be adaptable. Um, it isn't survival of the fittest, contrary to what people think about Charles Darwin's theories. It was always survival of the most adaptable. And in recent weeks, we've shown, you know, we are adaptable. You know, regardless of injury, suspension, or, or whatever, you know, personnel takes the pitch. And I think when you get that. It, you know, it starts to show good signs of your team and good signs of the culture that you build. And I'll try and finish on a positive. Josh Grant. Josh Grant's back on the grass, back in the squad. So yeah, really good, uh, <laughs> really good. Um, yeah, Trevor Clark 
obviously was suspended and in that suspension picked up an, an injury so probably by the time the suspension's over he'll still have another couple of weeks on his injury so it's it's uh it's coming it's coming bit by bit but you know as i say you want all your best players available uh, all the time and if you do you know it, it 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 tends to drive i think competition for places and 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 i think at this moment in time um certainly going into that kind of december january period you know you want to start to see some bodies coming back onto the pitch and josh is a big big boost for us sam finley's obviously back um from a from a one match suspension so two positives um obviously disappointing to lose brett disappointing to lose lt albeit hopefully lt's uh, on the shorter side